All right, it's Monday fun day, and we finally have the results for Jim Jam number two. It was a fantastic success. We had a ton of fun. We had a ton of games made. We had just over 150. It actually, actually went down. It was 152. Now it's 146. I don't know why, but 146 games are made in 48 hours, and uh, I want to give some recognition to some of the cooler games that ranked in the top uh, top spots. So. If we look at, first of all, the overall category, the game that did the best overall out of all the categories was Reincarnation of the Ninja by Jury Hisek, and I highly recommend you play this game. This game was fantastic. Uh, I played this on stream, and I rated it very, very highly, and I see that it won in a few different categories, mechanic category and the overall category. I think it deserves uh, both of those because... It definitely was a really well done, really well put together experience. Um, this was really, really interesting. And I, I actually think this this should be taken to the next level and really made into a full game. So congratulations, uh, Jerry. And uh, I, I hope you're happy with, uh, with first. And as for mechanic, we also have a number one reincarnation of the ninja. As I was just saying, it also deserved that. Um, I highly recommend you play this game because because this is the first game that I feel like really embraced the idea of the theme, but also invented something completely new. Uh, at least I had never played it before, um, and I thought that was interesting. So definitely check out that game. In the graphics category, we had Aurobound by Stella, uh, number one in graphics. Um, I don't believe that I played this game on stream. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I remember this. I remember this game. I was trying to stab everything in the face. This game was great. Um, I recommend you play this. The link will be in the description. You guys can check that out as well. Stella, congratulations. Uh, I believe you had a team, though. I believe there was a team. Yeah, it was Blank Canvas, FM, Stella, and Grumpledorf. Congratulations, uh, people. I, I hope, you, uh, hope you had fun making a number one game. In sound effects category, we had Fortress Fighter. Uh, Fortress Fighter was really, really interesting. Uh, I definitely think the sound was on point. The, the game feel was fantastic. Uh, I think this would have benefited from a little more time, but as far as like... The actual feel of the gameplay, this was this was on point. This was fantastic. It felt so good to kill enemies, and the game looked amazing. So I recommend you check that one out. Uh, in the music category, which I think definitely deserves this, was Swallow the Sun. This is one of those games where when I played it, I was like, felt so peaceful and serene and just uh, really kind of made me forget about the whole world and everything going on. Excuse me. It um, it really embraced the mechanic, both figuratively and literally. Uh, it it really took into account the whole iteration type thing of the Ouroboros, but also the the little representation of a snake uh, going around. So I recommend you check it out. Story: Living My Best Life. I really liked this game a lot. Um, there's a video of me playing it. Looks like right there, which is cool. Um, this this was. One of the few games that I played that actually seemed like it actually focused on story. So I'm glad that it won. Um, it's a really moving story. If you don't want to play the game, you can watch my video playthrough of it here. But I recommend you play it for yourself. Because it definitely was uh, one of those stories that really made you think. Uh, and it was cool. In Atmosphere, Living My Best Life also won that. Because uh, I think it had a fantastic atmosphere. It really kind of blended everything together, and I think in a really unique art style too. As far as like the player mixed with the environment, uh, it was really unique, and I haven't really seen anything like it. So, uh, Barrett and uh, all the stuff, all the the stuff. Uh, there's no one else. There's no other players, right? Or no other programmers. So, congratulations on that, dude. Uh, technical Snake Full Circle is the winner in the technical category. Um, this game, I don't believe that I played this one. I don't think I had the time to, to play it. But if it's rated number one in technical, congratulations, Rainbow Claws. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a shot. I'm definitely going to test it out. 
Um, and then finally, in the theme category, we had Swallow the Sun again, which I think is, again, well-deserved. It, like I said before, it it embodied the theme both figuratively and literally, and it, it really, I think, deserved that because of the way that it worked things. Uh, that being said, those are all the top uh, people in the jam. Congratulations to you if you're on that list. Uh, one other thing that I do want to say is is there's a couple people that deserve a shout out. Uh, one of them is Evil Art Bunny, Circle Serpent. This game has consistently come second in a lot of different categories. Uh, and I think this was a really good puzzle game. We saw one other puzzle game similar to this, had a similar mechanic, but this one was done really, really well. And I think it deserves uh, the number two category. I highly recommend you play this as well. Uh... Ouroboros the Spinning Blade was also uh, really good. This was a um, Metroidvania-style game that I played. And um, I had a lot of fun with this. I think I spent more time on this than a lot of the other games I played because it was so well put together. And uh, acquiring powers and all that stuff was, was really, really interesting. So I recommend you check that out. Uh, in the overall section, there's one other game that I think deserves a shout-out. There's so many fantastic games this time. Uh, so it's, it's hard to, uh, say, uh, I actually, I passed it, didn't I? Uh, where, Infe Infectious Valor Pursuit. This was really well done. I really like this whole, uh, mechanic. The, the atmosphere on this was, was on point and the music was fantastic. It really, really, really resonated really well. Um, I recommend you play this because I had a lot of fun with this. It was a very simple mechanic, but it, it really embodied both the name of, of the game, but also uh, the, the theme and the spirit of the, uh, the theme and, and how it all was going. There is so many good games here. I could literally keep going on this. Uh, this one had a fantastic, minus the, the little face there. This one had a fantastic algorithm as far as procedural generation. Um, I really like the way that... Uh, the rooms were built and stuff like that, all procedurally. The chief, you did a great job on that. Um, there's so many. Like, I could literally go through all these and tell you so many great things about this. This was fantastic, too. As far as, like, game feel, I wish we had a game feel um, category because the way that this game made me feel with rock music and, and heavy metal zombies and crazy shit popping out everywhere, this is definitely a Doom-style one. So Zombie Vitals, you did a good job on that. Uh, there's so many this game fuck this game fuck this game this game gave me nightmares don't play this game well we'll play it and tell someone good job but because he, he worked hard on it but i'm sorry this game gave me nightmares with the udemy guy udemy guy everywhere udemy guy coding your own games is easier than you think uh there's a lot of a lot of fantastic games here so i recommend you go through the list play some uh, you don't have to rate them because rating is over, but I highly recommend that you play some of these games. I'm so happy with with how this turned out. I'm so happy with everybody that uh, that played uh, and and rated and uh, joined the jam and all that stuff. So I appreciate you guys being part of the community. I appreciate uh, you joining. I appreciate you just being a part of everything that we're doing. And uh, I hope to have more jams like this in the future. I think we're going to do them more often. Because so many people have asked me repeatedly uh, to do them. So I think we're going to do a little bit more, a little more often. But that's all I got for you today. I just want to showcase some of the cooler games. Um, it's definitely worth checking out, at least the ones that I listed. I will link to uh, several of them in the description. Uh, but uh, either way, I recommend you go through some of this list or watch some of the, the uh, live stream videos that we did where we played a lot of them because a lot of them are fantastic. So that's all I got for you. I hope you found it useful. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite game was uh, if you played some games from the jam. Let me know. Feel free to link to any games if you want to link to your own game or you want to link to one of the games you thought was best. Let's all have a conversation about it down in the comments. But once again, my name is Tim Ruswick, and when we do another jam, I'm going to see you there, right? You're going to join. You're going to join my next jam. If you didn't join Jim Jam or you did join Jim Jam, you're going to be there, right? 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 I hope so. My name is Tim Ruswick, and I will see you again tomorrow.